Is competitive programming really necessary to get into big tech companies? The one who are aiming for these companies, the big giant companies, this question would be spinning in your head. Maybe you have some example from your college like your senior, he is good, good competitive coder and he got placed in a very good company with a good package. So maybe you have heard from your seniors like bhai agar tujhe achhi company mein jana hai achhi placement chahiye ek hi tarika hai competitive programming kar shuru kar de first year se ya second year se hi so nowadays competitive programming is in trend but really it is necessary to go for these companies or there can be some other ways to get into these companies so the answer of these question i am going to tell you in this video i'll discuss with some examples some facts but Rather than saying directly yes or no, I just want to tell you something before that. What you should have to get a job, to get into maybe some small companies or maybe in big tech companies. General points I'll discuss here. Yeah, it depends on company to company. It depends you are a fresher or you are a senior or it depends for which position you are applying for. But some general points I'm going to discuss if you want to go into software industry, IT industry. Very first point is what you should have good understanding of data structure and algorithms. The basic data structures like which data structure to use when, how to use those data structures to solve a problem, which kind of algorithm, which algorithm you should use to solve this problem, optimization of the problem like uh, you have some knowledge of time complexity as well as space complexity, how to write down a optimized code. You have good understanding of these things. Right. Second thing what they are looking for is what you are a learner or not or I would rather say you are an independent learner or not. See learning phase is never going to end. It's not like that you have done your B.Tech or your graduation. Now you are in job you get a job and that's it. Now you don't have to learn anything because technology is rapidly changing. Maybe on some day on this day you are working on one technology maybe on other day you have to work on some other technology maybe some programming language you are working on this like on C++ or maybe on Java, but on another project you have to switch for Python or maybe for any other programming language. So you have to learn that programming language, you have to adapt new technologies if you want to sustain in this industry, software industry for long. So you should be a learner, an independent learner, as well as you should be a self-motivated person. Next thing what they are looking for is what? You are able to write down some complex programs, some uh, scalable programs. You are able to handle some projects, right? You can segregate uh, your knowledge of all the concepts, data structure and algorithms and you can build something. You can apply that knowledge on a large scale beyond uh, solving those uh, simple or classical data structure problems, right? Next is you should be able to uh, work in a team, in a group. You should be able to collaborate with others. And next is for whatever role you are applying for, they are going to check the skills that are specifically required for that role. Like suppose if you are applying for any uh, programmer or uh, software developer, then uh, you must have knowledge of sound knowledge of programming language. You can write down code if for software engineer, like you should be good at design phase as well as an implementation phase like this. So for whatever role you are applying, they'll check specifically the skills required for uh, that role. So these are general things they are looking for, but it's not like that they look only these qualities. Maybe it depends on company to company and it also depends on what if you are a fresher or if you are an experienced person that also matters a lot here, right? So now see if you are a competitive coder, what is competitive programming? That thing I already discussed in one of my previous video, like if you are good at competitive programming in that case, Obviously, you have good problem solving skills. Yeah, obviously in this case, they also uh, check if you are a good problem solver or not. It is somewhat related to uh, this point, like you have good, if you have good understanding of DSA concepts, then definitely you know how to solve this problem. You can think which type of data structure you should use, how to write down to some program or the code to solve this problem, right? So they also saw this thing. Now. See, if you are into competitive programming, then definitely and if you are good, then definitely you are a good problem solver. Like in this competitive programming competition, what kind of problems are there? Story type. They'll give you some story in four, five, six lines or maybe more lines. 
you have to read line by line you have to analyze how to solve this problem how to find out the solution which dsa concepts you have to use to implement this problem means you are good at problem solving and as well as with that limited time time limit is also there so quickly you have to solve that problem right so if you are a good competitive programmer in that case indirectly they will come to know what yes you have a good understanding of dsa concepts right definitely for competitive programming you have to be good in dsa concepts you are good in problem solving you have problem solving skills what you are an independent learner you are self motivated person because you are good in competitive programming and it's not very easy to get into this field into cp field and to be good at this field right so definitely if you are into this you are a self motivated person and you are a learner next is you can yeah you can write down some scalable programs also it is not proved that if you are a good uh, competitive coder then you can write down you can handle projects you can write down large complex programs yeah because in competitive programming you don't need to write down those large programs you don't need to think like this you have to solve this pro this project you have to build something it's just like you have to solve a particular problem anyhow which concept which dsa concept you apply and solve that problem but yeah somewhat it also prove that you can write you can handle uh, that complex programs and scalable programs but it's not a you know uh, it's not proved that you will be able to work in team or group right so and this is what these are some specific skills uh, for the role you are applying for maybe if you are a competitive programmer that would be helpful in this point also so now you guys tell me is competitive programming necessary to get into these companies see the word is necessary so some will say yes some will say no because of these points but if simple answer if i'll say then it is not necessary it is not a requirement of those companies that in your resume it should be there that you are a good competitive coder you are a candidate master on this uh, site or maybe on the multiple many sites are there like code forces code chef there you have some you have their profile a good profile a good rank right so it is not necessary but if you are into this field if you are a good competitive programmer definitely you will get some advantage you will get an edge over other candidates to get into these companies but there are some other ways also to get into these companies if you are not good in this field if you are not into even if you are not into in this field competitive competitive programming field then also you can get into these companies with a very good package if you have some other abilities that also we'll discuss in next video but if you are interested if you enjoy doing competitive coding coding then you must go for it that is fine so an academy is also in this field now because an academy in collaboration with code chef has also started a program a course to learn competitive coding you can attend live classes there but if you are not able to attend live classes you can also watch their recorded sessions and some top educators uh, will teach you they'll instruct you and these in educators are, are himself they are you know uh, toppers of uh, icpc finalist of icpc and even uh, they are also working in these big tech companies like google flipkart amazon so it will it would be helpful for you and if you like their free classes then you can also go for their paid subscription the detail is over there and if you go for their paid subscription then what benefit you will get you will get proper structured course you will get a chance to interact some interactive session would also be there with these educators right and as well as you can uh, see the upcoming classes like on which date and with at what time next class uh, would be held and if you will use my code jenny10 then you will get 10% discount on these pricing the detail is over here with the theory sessions they will also teach you how to solve particular type of problem what should be the possible steps how to think to solve these competitive programming type of problem so that would be good for you if you are interested so 
the link and all the details i'll give you in the description box of this video if you are interested you can go for it and you can check out so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to discuss some other ways if you are not good in this field if you are not good into competitive programming then what are some other ways to get into these companies so i'll see you in the next video now till then bye bye take care